Hey YouTubers, JV Coins here with another video. This one is kind of a breaking news video and it's a follow-up to a discussion, a long-running discussion we've had on the channel about dollar coins, about the coinage that we have and the changes that have been discussed all year and in the past about changing the metals, changing the composition of the coins, changing the dollar bills, make possibly making them polymer like the one from Russia that we had in a video recently, possibly eliminating the penny and the nickel like Canada. All these things have been possibilities. Well, five days before I'm shooting this video, President Trump finally signed into law one of those items that we've talked about, which addresses the dollar coins and what's going to happen to them. And the law came out of a House bill, H.R. 770. It also had a matching Senate bill. It passed through both, obviously, and it went to President Trump for his signature, which he signed, as I said, on July 20th. And it goes into effect immediately, but the Mint has to get ready to put these coins out there. There's speculation on quite a few things that are not spelled out. I've actually read the legislation, H.R. 770, that authorizes the production of these coins. And even in the House bill, there are certain facts that we'll touch base on here that are not covered in detail. We'll cover what is and what isn't. The first thing is, we know that the presidential coins, like Abe Lincoln, uh, ended with President Reagan. We know that the Sacagawea dollar became the Native American dollar, and it will continue. It will not be replaced by the new dollar coins. The new dollar coins will be called American Innovation Dollars, and it'll be about people from each state that were innovators in some field or another. They'll be chosen in combination with the state and also with the committee at the Mint who decides what designs what coins and authorizes a lot of things. There's, there's some information about what's called the CCAC on the usmint.gov website. You can read about what they do. There's, believe it or not, there's even people like, or there was people on there like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who just resigned from the committee after only be on, being on it for about a year. So that being said, what they have settled in the legislation, it's now law, is that it will be uh, coming out with the Native American coin, that it will be issued with the Native American coin as a collector coin only, not for circulation. There will be no circulation strike. It will also bear on the obverse the is the image of the Statue of Liberty, it may be this coin or some derivation or combination of this coin because the obverse in the law says that the image shall be one of the Statue of Liberty, which is there, plus inscriptions of one dollar, which is there, and in God we trust, which obviously is not there. The edges will be incused like they currently are, and they will have the year of minting, the mint mark of their origin, and e pluribus unum on the edge. Beyond that, there is nothing in the bill or the law that, spec that specifies whether or not the coins will be silver or whether or not, as the speculation is out there right now, that they will be manganese like the current Native American dollar. So on the front, the face, the obverse, you're gonna have Liberty, some version of this looking at us. The reverses are all gonna be different. We don't know what they're going to be. Just like the state coins, we didn't know what they were gonna be until they released the images for the next year. And it's the same committee that picked those that will pick these. The law is very specific that is going to kind of differ again from what they did with the state quarters and the presidential coins, they're not gonna go in order of 
when they came into the union or when they became president, they're going to go alphabetically. So the first coin will be produced, it will be Alabama. And after that, they will produce four coins in that first year. And they will produce four coins each year until they've completed all the states. And then they will do the territories, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, District of Columbia, that type of thing. There is, interestingly enough, a, a portion of the law that says that during the production run of these coins, if any state, new state, joins the union, it will then be issued a dollar coin in this series, either in the order that it would have fallen if it hasn't gone past where that state is from, or as soon as possible after that. So the example, and this is what I was alluding to a little earlier, is California right now is talking once again about possibly splitting into three states. They actually have it on the ballot to possibly become three states. In their, in their creation of the state of California, way back when, they had the right, as does Texas, to break into sub-states. The last time it happened was when West Virginia broke off from Virginia. We have other instances before that where it happened. So it's not impossible. Texas is allowed up to five. Texas is not talking about that right now. California is. So let's say they are halfway through the run of these coins and all of a sudden California breaks up into three separate states. Now, if it happens before the California coin is due, which probably won't happen, then they would issue the three new state of California, whatever they're called, in the order of the alphabetical names of those new states. They would be added. They would extend the a number of coins that are allowed to be made. There is a provision in them, in, in the law, for them to go beyond the initial um, coins that they name in the law. They, they provide for that. So with this provision of any state that joins the union. So it's, it's really kind of interesting and they really put a lot of detail into creating this law. It, it took them a while and they had some, some fits and starts. They, they stopped at one point earlier this year and then they finally got it done and Trump signed it right away. The, the next thing is there's some speculation that the coins may be out by the end of this year. The coin series that uh, the state quarters, for example, right now are slated to end in 2020. So there was speculation that these would come online when those go offline. Some collectors have started to put in feedback. We've gotten some, some messages, some not too many positive, quite a few negative. We're gonna withhold our opinion right now. We kind of have an opinion, but it's based on all these assumptions. But you know, maybe at the live stream on Sunday, we can talk about it as a group and kind of see where everybody's thinking is. We don't wanna just say, hey, this is, we, we think this is good or we think this is bad. One thing to consider though, if the coin collecting community as a whole doesn't like the idea or doesn't like that coin any more than it did the Susan B. Anthony coin, for example, or the presidential coins. And these coins are only being made for us collectors, just like those. Now, Susan B. Anthony being an exception, they were circulated and still are. If these are uncirculated coin, not intended for circulation, only intended for collectors, and the collectors don't like them, what usually happens? Extremely low sales, extremely low mintages of those coins are a very real potential if they are not successful. So these things all weigh into whether or not it's gonna be a great idea or another Susan B, <laughs> except they're not gonna be in circulation. So we don't have the other shoe yet because those pieces were missing from the legislation and the articles that, I that we were able to find to do the research for this video are conflicting with each other on quite a few things. So we went to the legislation and looked up what the law says. And we've given you what the law says and what's clear 
and what the law leaves out and is not clear. So again, we can talk to, about it during our live stream Sunday, it'd be great. Leave your comments and, and, and questions below if you'd like. Hope you guys like this video and that, that you find it interesting. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification button, the little bell, so that you get notified when we post a video or go live. And until next time, J&B, signing out.